we're here in uh, Granary Square, which um, as you can see has been redeveloped. I think de developed with a high level of design literacy. Behind us, um, a, a beautiful renovation of, of Central St. Martins done in a very contemporary way. So it's got a very nice mix. Um, it's a great place to be. Nurturing creativity is very important to us at Land Rover. As a brand, we produce vehicles that are incredibly capable. They're known for their all-terrain capability. But also, they're incredibly desirable. And desirability is something that's become more and more important to us as a brand. And that's why our vehicles are, are so popular now, because we've managed to combine that sort of duality of capability with absolute desirability, which comes from design. And you know, this is about thinking about the next generation of designers, not just the designers of the cars, but the designers that get involved in the communications, in the advertising, in the look and feel of the whole brand. So it's something that's really important to us. And, and Central St. Martins has produced some great designers and artists over the years. We're going to be transforming Granary Square. Um, what we're going to do is demonstrate Land Rover's capability, this duality. Remember, this is a vehicle that, that uh, is very capable in the winter and incredibly enjoyable as it is in the, in the summer. So we're going to film it going from a cold winter's night into a breathtaking summer's day. That's what this is about. It's a creative way of presenting a very creative vehicle. Revoke Convertible comes from the Evoke and it's been designed in a way that doesn't erode the image of, of, of the original Evoke. Remember this is a vehicle that's been incredibly successful for us, uh, a vehicle that truly resonates on an emotional level and the Evoke Convertible just adds to that. Now it's a convertible but it's not any old convertible as you'd expect from Land Rover you'd expect a convertible that does something different and is capable and, is, and sits wherever it will be. This is a vehicle that you'll see in, in every major city. One of the important things was not to erode the image of the Evoque. It's an incredibly dramatic car. It's very distinctive, falling roof, rising belt line, wheel at each corner. It's got a great stand stance. And as I said, it's a vehicle that truly resonates with people on, on an emotional level that desirability coming for its, from its design. So what we've done is we've maintained that design. You know, we haven't changed the fundamental design. We've changed the areas that we've had to change to create a, com a convertible. What Evoke did for, for Land Rover, remember, is it brought a whole new uh, group of customers. I mean, 80% of the people that bought Evoke had never bought a uh, Land Rover of any description before. 70% never even bought an SUV. And remember, we've sold over 450,000 vehicles. So it, it, it will bring more people up to the brand. Certainly, I think, an, a, um, a younger age profile, people that like the idea of wind in their hair, they want to be open to the senses, they want something that, that's glamorous, that's, that's well designed. When we launched the Evoke originally, we created these sculptural, th these wireframes, which were really about when you create a concept vehicle, all you've got is one vehicle. How do you then replicate that and create the real vehicle? The first thing you do is you actually create what's called a wireframe on the computer, and then you build all the design, the surfaces around it. So that was the idea of taking Evoke back to its absolute essence as a wireframe. We created these wireframe models, they went all over the world in different colours and it was a celebration of the Evoke, the original Evoke launch. So Land Rover is partnering with the Bourne Summit of Creativity, something we felt uh, was actually a very good fit for us. Um, it's something that, that, that sponsors and nurtures and supports creativity in, in all its manifestations. Um, and I think that is, that is really important for us. Um, it's something that we want to be involved in. Creativity is our lifeblood and it's become, become more and more important as we grow this brand and make it all even more desirable. I've been into, in the design business for a, for a long time and um, it's given me an incredible amount of, of pleasure. I think the world would be a very sad place without without art, without design and without, without, cre without creativity. 
So for us, it is very important to support that. We talk about iconic status. I think it's a word, word that's used too liberally. However, we do have vehicles that have that iconic status. Range Rover, for one, 45 years of Range Rover. As it's evolved, it's gained that sort of iconic status because there's nothing else like it. The Evoque is another one. I wouldn't necessarily call it a, an icon yet, but I think it has the potential to become one. You know, it's been around for a few years now. People fell in love with it right from the start and they continue uh, to desire it. I mean, great design is, is it's about fundamentals. It's about getting the proportion, the stance right, getting, getting certain elements in the right place. And um, certainly that's something that's very important to us. And the only way you do that, of course, is to make sure that design and engineering are inextricably linked. They work in harmony together to make sure when you create the layout of the car, where the wheels go relative to the overall length, the, the overhangs, the height, etc., are all wet, very well balanced. We're, we're quite unique at Land Rover in, in that we have a, a unique heritage, a heritage that's evolved over 60 years. And we mentioned some of the iconic vehicles that we do have. Defender is certainly one of them. Range Rover's uh, uh, another. Discovery to a certain extent, and I think Evoke will, will, will get iconic status eventually. We feed off that heritage in terms of the DNA. We're not looking back, we're, mar we're respectful of that heritage, but we can't be harnessed by it. But what we do get from the heritage is a DNA that gives us, gives us a certain amount of ingredients that we can cook or present in a, in a different way. And I think it's that DNA that's evolved by recognizing the past but harnessing the future that's giving us something from a design perspective that is truly differentiated from what's going on in the rest of the automotive world. That's my view anyway.